I know for the fact that so many of you are eagerly waiting for this topic. Surprisingly, this video is going to be so simple, so smoother, so quicker to be ended. So share this video to anyone whom you want to be an accountability partner. And this is going to be absolutely magical. And let's get started with today's topic that is predicates. And this is from mathematical logics. And this is related to MFCS, DMS and DMGT. So here coming to the point. So what is a predicate? See, predicate is nothing but the property that a subject can have is called a predicate. So what is the subject and what is the property of that subject? See, for example, Radha is a girl. So here Radha is the subject. So this is nothing but the subject and is a girl. So this is the property of that subject, which is a predicate. Clear? And here Sita is a girl. So Sita, the names are always the subjects. So here it is a subject and is a girl. So this is the property of this subject. So which is a predicate. So is it not easier? See here, Radha is a girl, Radha, Sita, these are all the subjects. Is a girl is a predicate. Is a girl is nothing but the property of that subject. See here, our next one important thing here is we symbolize a predicate by a capital letter and a subject by a small letter. Here, the subject Radha and Sita, we have to represent or symbolize with small letters. See here, Radha I am writing with small r. And next one, Sita I am writing with small s. Clear? And here, predicate. So, the predicate we have to symbolize by a capital letter. E is a girl. So, this is G. E is a girl. This is G. And how we are going to symbolize this Radha is a girl. See, Radha is a girl can be represented by G of R. See here. Radha is a girl, always subject in small letters and predicate with a capital letter. And here, Sita is a girl. So, predicate is always with a capital letter and subject is always with a small letter. Therefore, Sita is a girl can be written as G of small s. So, here, this is how we have to symbolize Radha is a girl and Sita is a girl. And clear. And here are few examples. P is a P is Q. So here very clear that P is a subject. And next one Q. So this is the property of this subject which is nothing but the predicate. So the predicates are always represented by capital letters whereas the subjects are always written by the small letters. So this can be written, represented by a small letter and the predicate is always represented by a capital letter and so this can be symbolized as q of small p so which is nothing but p is q so we have to read like that next somo is mortal somo is a name so which is nothing but a subject e is mortal so which is the property of the subject which is nothing but the predicate see here always the predicate our title of the topic is predicate. So we have to represent with a capital letter. And so move is the subject with small letter. So this can be symbolized as M of S. Clear? M of S. So move is mortal. We have to write like this. And next one, India is mortal. So India is the name. So which is a subject and always. So this is represented by the small letter I. E is mortal. It is the property of this subject which is nothing but the predicate got it so as it is the title of the topic so we have to represent with capital letter so this can be symbolized as m of i so india is mortal clear and next one a table is mortal so a so here the table is a subject and is mortal is the property of the subject which is nothing but the predicate. So here the predicate always stands with the capital letter and subject is always stands with the small letter. So this can be symbolized as M of small t. So which can be read as a table is mortal. Clear you got an idea? So what is a predicate here? The predicate is nothing but the property of that subject is called a predicate. So here in Radha is a girl. 
सो राधा इज ए सब्जेक्ट सीता इज ए सब्जेक्ट इज ए गर्ल इज अ प्रिडिकेट सो द प्रिडिकेट्स आर ऑलवेज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय कैपिटल लेटर्स एंड द सब्जेक्ट्स आर ऑलवेज रिप्रेजेंटेड विद द स्मॉल लेटर्स एंड देयरफॉर वी कैन सिंबलाइज दिस स्टेटमेंट राधा इज अ गर्ल एज जी ऑफ आर एंड सीता इज अ गर्ल एज जी ऑफ एस एंड सी हियर पी इज क्यू सो दिस कैन बी रिटर्न एज पी ऑफ स्मॉल पी एंड सोमो इज मॉर्टल सो मॉर्टल विद कैपिटल एम एज इट इज अ प्रिडिकेट एम ऑफ स्मॉल एस India is mortal. M of I. A table is mortal. M of T. So, from this you have learned what is a predicate, what is a subject, and with the, which letter we have to represent a predicate and which letter we have to represent a subject and how to form this a statement. And next one here, the next topic is a predicate requires m names. Is called an m place predicate. See here. If you have one name, it's an one place predicate. If you have two names, so we say that it's a two place predicate. If you have three names, it is a three place predicate. If you have four names, it we it is known as a four place predicate. For example, see here. First thing is one name, so one place predicate. So here there is only one name that is Rahul. So Rahul clearly is a subject. See here. so here it is a subject he is a boy so this is the property of the subject which is nothing but a predicate so the predicate is always represented by the capital letter and the subject is always represented by the small letter therefore this statement can be written as b of r so this can be read as this is symbolized as b of r and this is read as rahul is a boy and next one two place predicate so in this two place predicate if you observe there are two names here so radha is taller than sita here radha and sita both are subjects see here these are and as i said that the names are the subjects and is taller it is predicate so this is a predicate is taller than is a predicate so here as you know that the predicate is always represented with the capital letters whereas the subject radha and next sita with small letters therefore this can be symbolized as t of so always starting with a predicator r comma s so they are two names here so this is a two place predicate and this can be written as so this can be written as t of r of s so this can be read as radha is taller than sita so here radha is taller than sita and next one three place predicate see coming to three place predicate how many names we should carry so three names we should carry and the three names here are sita sits between neeta and sita see here there are three names here rita neeta sita so these are all the subjects so here if you see these are all the subjects so this is also a subject and this is also a subject and what is the predicate here sits between is a predicate property of the subject which is a predicate so always the predicate should be represented with a capital letter sits between s and these subjects are with small letters a small r neeta with small n and sita with small s and therefore this can be symbolized as s of r comma n comma s so this can be read as rita sits between neeta sita and sita clear and next one is four place predicate so here we should um, see four names so here what are the four names here the names are also very very clear as green and miller played the bridge game against john and smith here green miller john smith so these are all the subjects and next played next one this played bridge it's a played bridge game so this is nothing but a predicate so this is nothing but the predicate so here the subjects are usually represented by a small letters so green so small g miller small m john j smith s so the bridge game it is a predicate it is represented by the capital letter therefore this can be symbolized as g m j s clear so this can be read as green and miller 
played the bridge game against John and Smith. So this is how. So we have to confirm whether it is a one place predicate, two place predicate, three place predicate, and four place predicate. And the next topic here is the compound statement. So how we find a compound statement? So compound statement is nothing but. See here, <coughs> the compound statement functions are obtained by combining two or more. So we have to combine two or more simple statement statement functions and the logical connectives. See here, if you combine two or more simple statements and the logical connectives is called a com compound statement. For example, if see m of x, so x is a man. So x is nothing but the subject. Is a man is nothing but the predicate. So man it is with, represented with a capital letter M of X. Clear. And next one H of X. X is mortal. So the mortal is represented by capital H. And X is a subject with small x. Therefore here these two are the simple statements. If you connect these two statements with the connectives. See here, see here I have shown you the connectives. This is conjunction this is disjunction this is negation this is again disjunction disjunction this is again negation this is implication so if you connect these two simple statement with our connectives then we say that it's a compound statement function see here this is m of x is nothing but x is a man h of x is nothing but x is mortal so if these two statements are connected with connectives conjunction disjunction negation and next with this one uh, disjunction and negation and next one with negation and disjunction and implication so if you add up or if you just combine the two or more simple statements with the logical connectives then we say that it's a compound statement function next one form a compound statement function from the following so they are the two statements here the first one is m of x m of x can is a uh, written as x is a man and h of x as y is a mortal. Then we write m of x and h of x, x is a man and y is mortal. So this is a combined with a connective. So what connective it is? Conjunction. So if two statements are combined with a connectives, then we see that it's a compound statement. So it is connected with an understatement. So here got clear. And the next one here, the next question from the textbook is, if P of X denotes the statement. So the statement here is X is greater than, X is greater than 3. And what are the true values of P of 4 and P of 2? See here, it's very clear. So what is given? X is greater than 3 is given. So X is greater than 3 is given. So we need P of 4. So in place of X, if I keep 4, so 4 greater than 3, is it true? So this value is true. So this value is true. And next one, P of 2 is also needed. So if you keep X is equal to 2 here, so 2 is never greater than 3. So this is a wrong statement. Therefore, so this is false. And therefore, hence the truth values of P of 4 and P of 2 are true and false respectively. See here. The next question here is, let Q of, Q of X comma Y denotes the statement X is equal to Y plus 3. So what are the truth values of Q of 1 comma 2 and Q of 3 comma 0? See here, it's also very clear. So given X is equal to Y plus 3. So if I keep x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 2, so if I keep x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 2, what it becomes? 1 and 5. So is it equal? No, it's never equal. Therefore, this is false. So is it is a false statement. And next one, q of 3 comma 0. If you keep x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 0 in this given statement, x is equal to y plus 3. So x3, y0. So 3 is equal to 3, which is true therefore this is a true statement therefore q of 1 comma 2 is false clear and next one q of 3 comma 0 is a true respectively so this is how we have to make a conclusion so there are so many points which have uh, taught you today and first one is a predicator so the predicate consists of a subject and the property of the subject the property of the subject is represented by predicate and the predicate with always a capital letter and subject with always a small letter and this can be symbolized like this so these are the few examples so which you can learn and then next one is there are 
one place predicate two place predicate three place and four place predicates also I have explained and the next one is the compound statement compound statement is nothing but combining two or more simple statements functions and the logical connectives is called a combined statement here is the example from the textbook so we have to form a compound statement for the following and the next one here is then another question we have to write the true values of p of 4 and p of 2 given x greater than 3 and the next one is for x is equal to y plus 3 so we have to calculate q of 1 comma 2 and q of 3 comma 0 so which are false and true respectively thank you so much for watching and staying till the end and my next video is also very very important so that is about the quantifiers and types of quantifiers and that will be also very interesting so hope you will all Go through the playlist and practice well and pass it on to your friends. And thank you for staying till the end. Thank you so much.